evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. Got to be honest, not many of us in the press are looking forward to the 2020 Democratic primary. Just hours ago, it felt like it was going to be an exhausting, miserable affair. The current field is a mixture of fossils, extremists, and power-hungry cynics willing to say anything and hurt anybody to get a hold on the White House. But things have changed. A new candidate has entered the race, a man untethered from the old ways, possibly even from the conventional restrictions of physics, time and space, more a spiritual force than a temporal leader, more a poet than a politician. Ladies and gentlemen, the author of our redemption, Beto O'Rourke. Beto O'Rourke, the social media phenom. Despite his loss to Ted Cruz, the rock and roll loving 46 year old caught the nation's attention. <laughs> His offbeat social media posts appealing to a younger generation, even taking the skateboarding at Whataburger. His Senate candidacy winning the endorsement of celebrities like Beyonce. Beto loves rock and roll, says GMA. He's not like everyone else. He doesn't do stuffy speeches or policy programs. He's not going to bore you with entitlement projections or some scary stuff about the Korean Peninsula. Beto's got a skateboard and wears Nirvana t-shirts. His vision for this country is 1995. That was the year he was living way uptown in this walk-up and working as a man. He knew this dude on West 112th Street was some of the stickiest bud in Manhattan. Indica, a little heavy, but sweet. It was a good time. Beto wants to bring us back to that time, and the press is totally on board. I saw him for the first time just a month ago when he sat down with Oprah, and me and the rest of the people in the audience thought, wow. This guy has this dynamic, positive energy. Yeah, he has that raw talent. He is very kind of Obama-esque in, indeed. The women voted for him in the suburbs of Houston who hadn't voted Democrat before because they had a kind of better crush going on. You know, he's wholesome and he's earnest. He's got that magic dust. Of course his son is named Ulysses. I, I love that Still that's his son's name. He has that gleam in his eye. Somebody, uh, Evan Smith uh, in, at the Texas Tribune said, seeing him is like, it's like a Jesus Christ superstar seeing this guy in front of people. He's got that celebrity aura about him. And in that moment, he was owning that. You heard it. Beto's got that magic dust. Oh, yeah, he does. At least an eight ball. Though the guy in 112th Street has more if you need it. Beto's got great hair, too. Beat that combo. Actual voting doesn't begin for months, but Beto is already America's spiritual president. And by the way, that's a much cleaner way to run for office. Real elections, the ones with voters, sometimes end like this. So we have quite a bit of big news uh, to report. We can call now that the Texas race will go to Ted Cruz, the incumbent Republican. That Ted Cruz win over Beto O'Rourke, significant. Well, that election was a bummer. So Beto split soon after on a solo road trip. It was a whole me and you and a dog named Boo kind of thing. The sort of trip that Kerouac or Steinbeck would have taken. Just the hum of the engine and the black ribbon of the open road. A time to feed the soul. Also a time to stage a series of publicity shots for Snapchat and Instagram while simultaneously blogging the whole thing. Timeless stuff. An all-American redemption story. Beto came back a better man. He understood the running for president thing was not for him. Is there a scenario where you run for president in 2020 or beyond? No. No. no, unequivocally, you will never run for president. No punto. Uh, no period. No punto, baby. Down on the border where the people are authentic and speak various languages at once. That means, yes, I am running for president just as soon as I can hire a staff of consultants and line up some billionaires to fund it. But for now, I will lie about my plans. And that's exactly what Beto did. And so here we are in the age of Beto. What's the plan, man? What are we doing? What's next? Well, what's next, Beto says, is understanding that the things that we think of as terrifying threats to the country are actually perfectly cool, like more than 20 million people using fake identities to live illegally inside the United States. That's not a problem. That's the best, man. All of us, wherever you live, can acknowledge that if immigration is a problem, it's the best possible problem for this country to have. Yeah. It's the best problem. Hard to think of a better problem. Ill illegal immigration is such a cool problem to have. We ought to have more. Let's knock down the border walls, dude. If you could, would you take the wall down now? Here. Yes. Like you have a wall. Absolutely. Like, knock it down. I'd take the wall and down. And do you think the city, you think if, this, if there's a referendum here in this city, that would pass? I do. Yeah, it's fine. 
But that's not to say Beto doesn't see problems on the horizon. He does. And when he does, his doe brown eyes cloud a little. And he stares off into the distance to consider a holistic solution, just like James Dean would have done if he had lived to be Beto's age and could skateboard. Beto says global warming is a major bummer. Global warming could make us go extinct, like the dinosaurs in the museums, man, dead forever. Some will criticize the Green New Deal for being too bold or being unmanageable. But I tell you what, I haven't seen anything better that addresses this singular crisis that we face, a crisis that could, at its worst, lead to extinction. Extinction. That's what Beto's fighting against. What else is he for? Well, it's a fair question, but honestly, it's not really clear. We checked his campaign website. There's a picture there that says Beto for America in English. The one in Spanish says Beto for all. We couldn't find any actual policies, even about fighting extinction. We did find a sweet Beto tote bag, just 30 bucks, and you don't even have to pledge to NPR to get it, though you probably already have. You already get one. It's awesome.